So are you firing me? This video is created for English learners. The script is written with easy English and I speak slowly with clear pronunciation so that it is relatively easy to understand. As a study support, you can also select either English or Japanese subtitles by changing the caption setting. This time I am going to talk about the day Yuzu Pizza was laid off. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Getting laid off. What a depressing event. Nobody wants it, especially if it is permanent. Then you have to worry about your future. You may also feel embarrassed. Some people's self-esteem takes a hit, but it can be part of life. Some of you may be curious and think, how do companies notify their workers that they are laid off? If so, this story may interest you. About a decade ago, Yuzu Pizza was once laid off. It was not temporarily, but permanently. I would like to share that story with you. This was how the day went. Yuzu Pizza, my husband, used to work at a manufacturing plant in the engineering department. His role was to organize cost reduction activities. It was a Friday. Coincidentally, it happened to be the one year anniversary of when he started the job. The day started completely normal. He woke up, he prepared for the day, and he drove to work as usual. He had no idea of what was going to happen that day. He got to the office and checked his email. Then he went down to the assembly area to perform some of his tasks. Then he headed back to his office. When he got back to his office, he noticed that nobody was there but his supervisor. Let's call him Mike. Yuzu Pizza felt that it was odd because he had five coworkers in the office. Usually they were around either working or chatting with each other. While checking his email at his cubicle, he noticed that Mike was calling somebody. Then he heard that Mike said, he is here now. Then Mike came to his cubicle. He said, Yuzu, we have a meeting. Can you come with me? So Yuzu followed Mike. He still had no idea what was to come next. He asked Mike, what is the meeting for? I don't know, which was a total lie now that he thinks back on it. Mike took him to one of the plant's conference rooms. There were three people waiting for him the plant manager, a human resources person, and who is this guy? A cousin of the Incredible Hulk? This guy looked very menacing and intimidating. At that point, he realized that something unusual was going to happen to him, but he was still not sure what it would be. The plant manager said, Yuzu, please have a seat. Then, Yuzu still vividly remembered that the plant manager approached this serious subject with an uptight yet casual tone. It was as if he was sharing something unimportant, such as discussing a reimbursement process change or a new menu in the cafeteria. Due to cost reductions, our organization has decided to eliminate your position. Your employee status is terminated as of today. After this meeting, you can go back to your cubicle to grab your belongings. We are offering you the option to receive six weeks worth of pay if you sign this document now. I will give you five minutes to read it through. The HR person gave him the document and asked him to read, then sign. The paper was to agree that he would not sue the company in the future. As you see, there were no sympathetic comments or appreciation. Yuzu would have felt better if the manager said something like, It is very unfortunate, 
but I need to reluctantly say that we have to let you go. We all thank you so much for your hard work, and we wish you good luck. But Yuzu assumed that it was too much to ask. We were all in the rat race in a cold and non-merciful society. These series of events all happened out of the blue. It was so surreal that Yuzu's brain could not process the situation quick enough. Eventually, slowly but surely, he began to grasp his circumstances. So, are you firing me? Yuzu asked. No, it is more accurate to say that we are laying you off permanently. We eliminated your position, so we don't need you. Please sign the document, if you agree, and I will dismiss you. Then go to your cubicle and get all of your stuff. Everything happened so quickly in such a calm and casual manner that Yuzu was not able to feel anything. He was just trying to understand his situation. It was so unreal. It was as if he was watching a movie about someone else. And if that was their intention, they did a really good job. People wouldn't have time to feel emotion. They wouldn't have any chance to make a scene with this approach. Yuzu walked back to his office and started collecting his belongings. If you have ever seen any movies with a scene where a guy who was just fired holds a cardboard box filled with his belongings walking toward an exit, that is exactly what it looked like, except for that cousin of Incredible Hulk. Yuzu Pizza walked through the back door for the last time. He looked back at the building, and then he left the facility. Well, that is pretty standard. I guess, if you say so, but I feel like, you know, it was heartless. Especially this guy. The Hulk guy followed him the entire time. He was watching him in a manner like a prison guard, monitoring every single move that a prisoner makes. That really hurt Yuzu's feelings. So that was his experience of being laid off. It is not a great experience, but it often opens the door for something better. Actually, after a few months, Yuzu found a way better job with a higher salary. The new job was more enjoyable and gave him better work experience for his future. 